Hmm. I thought about this and I was like, George W. Bush ignored the negative media and it got on my nerves. Then Obama got in and the media loved him and that got on my nerves. And then President Trump got in and just started saying it like it is and calling people out on their crap. And I was like, heck yeah, heck yeah, boom. I love that about him. I really enjoyed the Jim Acosta uh, stuff too. That was great. I don't think Jim's that dumb. I think CNN's telling him to say the stuff he's saying. He's making a lot of money, so he's doing what he's told. That's one of the problems with just being, working with just one network. You have to be careful about who's feeding you, if you know what I mean. Okay, this video is about President Trump's point of view on the press and why I handle people the way I handle them now. Uh, this is almost our six month anniversary. It's on the 6th of uh, July, it'll be exactly six months. Just celebrated our 10 year anniversary uh, on the 21st. June 21st was when Mustang Medic came into existence 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years, 10 years doing Mustang Medic. Um, we have over 8,000 videos. And now we've got this new soiree into politics and finding out what's going on in DC starting January 7th, a day that will infinite, live in infamy. <laughs> uh, but some people were complaining, oh, Mustang Medic's taking out uh, the stuff I'm saying. And let me tell you what's going to get you taken out, okay? I tried not to be like Zuckerberg, but then what I did was I started to think to myself, what's constructive and what's not constructive? If it's not constructive, here's an example. You suck and this guy's great. Not constructive. Bye-bye. Um, you're lying about what you're saying, but it's a factual thing. Everything's factual with me because I'm not lying about anything. So then I would go and uh, ban that person. Um, and then you get a little hit squads that are running around other channels that don't like the fact that you're reporting the truth and they try to attack. I expected all this and I especially expected it when, I, when God told me to expose people that are lying. I was trying to not get into that little thing. I was like, God, let me just report the truth on the ground. And he's like, no, report everything you know that's untrue. I'm like, all right, fine. So that's why I'm taking people out. I'm much more active now online with the audience and Telegram and on YouTube, Instagram, starting to be with TikTok, Rumble, Parlor. I'm back on Parlor again. Large numbers in TikTok, to my surprise. Um, but... I'm not going to support hate on my channel. If it's not constructive and you just don't like it, I'm asking you to stop right now. Stop this video, go somewhere else and never come back to Mustang Medic. If you cannot work constructively, if you don't want um, us to find the truth is what we're digging for, then just don't be here, you're a distraction. And uh, I don't have time for it. Here's a good test. Here's a good test. Tell me if this triggers you, then you should definitely, you know, bail out because it means you're just not happy. Reflect it too. If you're triggered right now by me showing you a press pass or a press patch, <laughs> not a press pass, a press patch, then you don't belong here. We are going to find out the truth. And we are going to mute the TV on our reality television thing. I forgot that I had it going. Oh, boy. Man. Oh, that's funny. And it's the video that, that actually started this whole thing. That's really funny. On one of our live streams recently, my one of my daughters was reading the text. And you guys knew they were reading the text. And somebody had to be like, oh, real professional. Something like mocking the girls showing video of uh, the Pentagon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's the kind of stuff we don't need. What we need is we need to try to look at facts. If somebody, do, if you've got a fact that somebody else doesn't have a fact, be nice about it. Be gentle. Present the information. And then 
respectfully disagree. I, I give examples of that, like with Don, um, with the BLM member, with people that hate other people. I let them have a voice because I'm trying to, I'm not trying, I am listening. And we need to listen to each other because we're figuring it out. People are getting sick and tired of what we're being fed by the mainstream media and fake accounts on YouTube and wherever else. If they're doing it for clicks, if you've been lied to, I go once. If I find somebody that I know is lying, see ya. But if you want to go three times because you've been watching the person for such a long time, go three. But I wouldn't go more than that. If you've been told something by a channel and it did not happen, there's proof that it didn't happen. Don't, don't, don't judge immediately. If there's proof it didn't happen, you know the person's lying on the video, stop watching them. Stop watching them. Stop watching me if I do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm answering to God. And God told me, show them on January 7th. Show them. I have no fear. And I'm going to expose the people that are lying. So if you're lying, I wouldn't give this channel much attention because what's going to happen is people are going to start digging into you and then I'm going to feel obligated. So if you're lying to the viewers, <clears throat> it's not going to be good. The truth will come out. We serve a mighty God and I'm counting on that. <laughs> All right, I just felt like I need to address that because I saw a, a viewer commenting that I was taking uh, people out. I am. Taking them out. Full transparency. If you're a hater and you're not looking for the truth and you're a distraction to our people that are looking for the truth, bye-bye. So choose love. Listen, we can all learn together. I invite you to stay if you can at least be willing to to listen to points of views. But if you're just going to slam, we're going to slam you out. Ooh, that was probably loud. Sorry about that. This is Mustang Medic on the 22nd of June. I'm going to the Trump rally. Um, I'm going to stay there two nights. I'm going to be there on Saturday. So it's going to be in Ohio. Um, and we've got, we're going to Mount Rushmore. Uh, I appreciate all of the views that, that, that we did receive. They helped out tremendously. And also for the generous donations, I'm always grateful for the financial support. It really helps us be able to make that, that budget of 7,500 bucks a month. I'm, I am setting up a nonprofit. I'm uh, gonna work on, start working on that because I want everyone to know where the money goes because I've heard rumors that I've got $200,000 in the bank. I do not. <laughs> the, the teeth are fake, but the smile's real. You know what I mean? Seriously. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate all of your interest and all of your support. It was awesome um, at the Clay Clark's rally. Like for three days, eight hours a day, every three minutes I was taking a picture with somebody. It was awesome. And you guys were awesome. And you really, really poured into me. And I'm very grateful for that because um, as we grow, it's getting, uh, how should we say it? More intense. It's okay. I'm fine. I don't feel any pressure. I have no fear. Um, but it's definitely getting interesting with the people that are coming out of the woodwork. Know this. You've got my word. I will report the truth. If I report something as the truth and I find out it's false, I will basically report on myself and say I made a mistake. I haven't done it yet, to my knowledge. But if I learn that I made a mistake and I assumed something and I reported it, I will correct it online. You will have the truth from Mustang Medic because the truth is what will set you free. And it's so rare online now. If this resonates with you, then let's all do this together under the name of Mustang Medic, which is was a, was a car restoration shop. And I just like it because it's so neutral. I don't want to be like telling my point of view by my name. So Mustang Medic works really well. And, and I'll end with the four tenets because I'm repeating these over and over again. I think I've been pretty clear in this video. Sorry for pulling on the Velcro. Very triggered. Um, one, 
We are all related. All 7.5 billion of us come from one man and one woman. So you're not racist. You're a stereotyper. The darkest person in Nigeria to the whitest person in Sweden are related. We are all one. They, they want us to uh, forget that. We are one people. The human race. I always say Mustang Medic represents the human race. Um, two, we need to listen to each other, meaning, wait, let the person finish their thought, take it in, don't start answering it in your head, just wait, get all the words in, think about it, and then respond, listening. Number three is we can respectfully disagree and still respect each other. So... You could think Joe Biden is a great president and I can respectfully disagree. I don't have to yell at you. I don't have to call you a name. I can simply respectfully disagree. We'll have discourse. That'll be good. We can respectfully disagree. And the last one, but not the least important, is we need to love one another. By loving one another, I mean nice shoes. You look healthy. Nice suit. Sharp guy. Very smart Beautiful woman, da, 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 da. we can uplift. In honesty, we're not going to lie. We just, we, you just be uplifting. Something you see positive on a person, share it with them. They'll feel better. And even if they don't feel better, you'll, you'll feel better because you tried to uplift somebody. All this clawing down right now is all an effect of being stuck in the algorithms, being hidden for a year, to being told to stay away from people, six feet apart, the whole nine yards. And now you want to drag everybody down with you, especially online, especially if you're anonymous. Well, you're just going to stay miserable if you keep doing that. It's unnecessary. If you start being more positive and start sharing with people and talking to people, you'll feel happier and you'll want to be happy. You won't want to tear somebody down. Try it out. I, I just love uplifting people. It's so cool. If you start practicing it, doing it over and over again, it becomes really fun. And you meet amazing people simply because you're recognizing a quality in them. Those are the four tenets. And um, we are united. And for those that haven't figured it out yet, and you're still watching and I appreciate it, you will. Because through great persecution is blessings. And I think we're going to experience that for a while. It's not going to be boring. And let's not forget about Texas that's in crisis. This is William Whitting from Mustang Medic with a opinion piece. And also I wanted to make clear why some things are getting deleted and what Mustang Medic's about. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you see the vision. If you do, watch and you will see. Even if it's not quickly, but in time, you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. No matter how boring it is or how exciting it is. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the White House reports. I try to do them every day. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your time. And if you're still watching, I appreciate you watching this video.